Now, June, thank you so much for joining us. So, OK, so w with this blood test then, how soon can it detect um, whether you have uh, the disease or not? Now, that's not absolutely clear at the moment. What the blood test does is it picks up evidence that there is nerve damage somewhere in the body. Now, we can already do that, but the difficulty up until now has been that you couldn't tell whether that nerve damage was somewhere in the periphery of your body or the, the one that we're worried about in Alzheimer's, which is nerve damage inside the brain. So it's really good that there seems to be a way of distinguishing this, which has happened already in 600 um, test patients. And so that's all heading in the right direction. But the note of caution is we're still a little bit away from being able to use this in the ordinary clinical course of events, because of course, people sometimes have symptoms of dementia for years before they get as far as going to the doctor. And it would be so much better if there was a simple test that would mean you could tell early on, you could go to the doctor and you would be able to see what you can do to help yourself and what they can do to help you. OK, Professor Andrews, so at the moment, uh, what are the early signs of Alzheimer's and how would one test for that at present? Well, it's interesting. Most people think of it as a memory problem. And so people come to me and say, oh, I keep forgetting things. Do you think I've, do you think I've perhaps got dementia? In fact, one of the earliest signs is a change in the person's judgment. They start to do and say things that they wouldn't have done before. And sometimes that can be happening for years. You know, the wife will sometimes say, I knew for two years there was something wrong with my husband before they actually think the symptoms are bad enough to consult a doctor. And even then, because of the stigma around dementia, people are reluctant to go and talk to the doctor about it until the symptoms are quite extreme. And that's because in the past it's been quite a stigmatising uh, condition. Now that people talk about it more, the opportunity to have a blood test which could sort things out earlier would be, would be much better. In the meantime, what happens is you talk to your GP and if they do some tests and think that you need to go to the memory clinic, then you might have a brain scan, you might have a lumbar puncture. There's quite a lot of invasive tests that might take place. And of course, with the NHS, in the state that it's in at the moment, the waiting time for that could be quite long. And considering that most of the people affected are quite late on in life, that amount of time is a long time to wait from the time that you've got left to live. So I think in the meantime, until this test is widely available, most of us should consider very early whether or not we've got dementia and do all the things that you can do to keep yourself as well as possible for as long as possible. And don't hesitate to ask your doctor about it.